And several school districts made the decision to close their campuses early last week because of COVID cases. The superintendents were left with making difficult decisions. Today, we spoke with one of those districts who says that although it's been a challenge, they're hopeful they can keep the doors open. Like several school districts, Bremond ISD has been enduring its fair share of battles. We'll be able to trudge along and at least at least get through to the end of the year and just hope that next year's better. Every day we just hope the next day's better. Right now, you know, we just make it through the day and hope tomorrow's better. The superintendent Daryl Stewart saying they were forced to close their campuses last week after the number of six students and staff nearly doubled in a matter of hours from 42 to 90 by two o'clock during the school day. Well, we made the decision to go ahead and let out and, you know, Hopefully everybody that was going to get exposed had got exposed and by the time we got back we were kind of over it. The superintendent says that staff has been tackling on more work to keep up with the changes, all in an effort to keep everyone safe. Not only do we have the ability to control it, we have to, we have to make those decisions because um, nobody else wants to, to make them. To make sure they meet the funding requirements from the state, the superintendent says they're adding an extra 20 minutes to the school day starting next week and considering changes to student holidays. We do have a couple of days built in, but we don't know if we're through the worst of it yet, so we're going to try to save those days just in case we have to have those later. And as the district plans to stay open, they're hopeful that these cases can become a thing of the past. Well, hopefully we're over the worst of it now, and but we're going to just be prepared because we don't know what's going to happen. To keep the doors from being closed again. The district says they currently have less than 60 students and staff out today, down from nearly 100 from last week.